Ketogenic therapy isn't just another weight loss diet. It's a powerful medical intervention with medication-like effects on the brain and body. In fact, it's not just one specific diet at all, but a therapeutic process that reduces carbohydrate intake to shift the body's primary fuel source from glucose, derived mainly from carbs, to ketones produced from fat. This metabolic shift can be achieved through a wide range of dietary approaches from, from vegan to carnivore and everything in between, as long as the carbohydrate intake is low enough. Now, medical use of a ketogenic diet began over a century ago to treat drug-resistant seizures. Now, ketogenic therapy is showing promise for other neurological and psychiatric disorders. Ketogenic therapy has been widely studied in hundreds of clinical trials to assess its effectiveness in treating metabolic conditions like type 2 diabetes or obesity and polycystic ovary syndrome. That same metabolic approach is now being extended to brain health in psychiatric and neurological conditions with a wide range such as bipolar disorder, depression, schizophrenia, anxiety, OCD, ADHD, PTSD, eating disorders, dementia, Parkinson's disease, and even ALS. Across the globe, individual patients, clinicians, and research teams are reporting meaningful clinical improvements and often life-changing recoveries. Over 40 clinical trials have been completed or are currently underway, specifically focused on serious mental illness and neurological disorders, and that number only continues to grow. While research continues to uncover exactly why ketogenic therapy works so well for many psychiatric and neurologic conditions, key mechanisms are already coming into focus, including stabilizing brain energy, reducing neuroinflammation, boosting mitochondrial function, and modulating neurotransmitters. Ketones provide a more efficient and accessible fuel source for the brain, especially for individuals with insulin resistance who may struggle to effectively use glucose. You can think of insulin as the key to unlock the cell's door, to open it and take in glucose that the body uses for energy. But when you have insulin resistance, it's as if someone changed the locks and the insulin doesn't work as well in opening the doors. The result is a cell that's essentially starved for energy. But ketones don't need the door or the lock. They can come in through the open window, thus providing an efficient energy source even when someone has insulin resistance. Ketosis also strengthens both the quality and quantity of mitochondria. From transforming food and oxygen into energy to fine-tuning hormones and neurotransmitters and even guiding gene expression, these tiny organelles play a central role in our health. When mitochondrial health is restored, the brain and body can gain a vastly improved energy flow, which, which opens the door to lasting stability and wellness. As research evolves, one thing is clear. Ketogenic therapy is worth exploring for brain health and mental well-being. It's a relatively low-risk intervention with the potential for profound, life-changing results. With the right clinical support, it can offer hope and real healing for people who've been told recovery isn't possible. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at metabolicmind.org.